Hey friends, welcome back to my house. I built this house a couple years ago and when I was building it, I really was looking for a very, very airtight envelope. My blower door score was basically at passive house levels around 0.6 ACH 50, so a very tight house. And it's always fascinating when we talk about air tightness, there's a whole camp of people that say houses are too tight, houses need to breathe. And one funny comment in particular really stuck with me. This is years ago, this comment I saw on YouTube. They said, you know, Matt, if you fart in that house, uh, you're going to smell it a week later. Kind of a crude comment. But on the build show today, we're going to test that. We're in my master bath uh, right around here is my uh, master toilet right here and my master shower. I've set up a little fog machine in here. We're going to fog this area and we're going to see how quickly we can get fresh air in and whether you would indeed smell a fart a week later. Now, here's the scoop. Up in my attic, uh, I've got a Zender fresh air system and I've got a couple of these outlets on the ceiling right here that are actually uh, inputs. So this is a, a, a sucker, you know, this is an extract right here. It's moving air. Basically anywhere in my house that's wet and stinky, that system is extracting a small amount of air 24 seven. I think my system is set at 130 CFM continuous. So all day, every day, I'm sucking 130 CFM out of the whole house, out of several locations in my bathrooms, my kitchen, places like that. At the same token, in other places in the house, I'm delivering fresh air at that same rate. And this is my master bedroom. That outlet right there, which is just a few feet from my bed, is constantly supplying fresh air all day, every day, all night long while I sleep. It's constantly exchanging some air. So with that being said, let's test the theory. Will you smell a fart at Matt's house a week later? Well, let's get going. Okay, so let's, uh, let's experiment. We're gonna kind of run this real time here. I'm gonna close the door so that now I'm just in the uh, master bath wing of the house. So this door here, I'm not gonna close uh, because there is an extractor in the ceiling here. So that's an extract port here. This is one big open room. Hopefully you're wide enough to be able to tell. That's an extractor, which is right outside of my bath. I purposely put it outside because I can actually close that little pane of glass there. I've got a Kohler steam unit in here and I occasionally steam it up. And then in my master closet, which is right here, I've got another extract, which is basically right outside of the shower area. So I've got three extractor heads that have one to two Zender tubes going to them. Let's fog it up and I'm gonna use my phone as a uh, timer. And let's see how long it takes to fog and how long it takes to clear. And I'm not kicking my Zender unit into high. I am simply going to just run it on low speed, normal seeds, so to speak. And you know what, let me confirm that with my app just to, uh, I have this, this app that comes with my fresh air system. Okay, yeah, so my app shows here that I'm on normal speed. And if it kicks into boost mode, with the button on the wall. Actually, let's hit the button and I'll show you. Well, no, I don't wanna do that because that'll, I'll show you later. If I kick it into boost mode, it'll kick into high. So let's go back to my timer mode and we're gonna set the timer and let's fog this baby up. <laughs> I hope this wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. That's all this thing's got? Seriously? That's not enough fog to make a fart. Dang it. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting some fog going. Okay, we're one minute in here on the fogging process. Now it's going. Oh yeah, now we're fogging it up. And it's going in here too, which would be interesting to see if we can see any of that smoke being extracted out. Oh wow, it's getting real foggy in here. This is what it would look like, I suppose, if you had a steam shower that was really steamy. God, this, I gotta get a new fog machine, this thing stinks. 
and not stinks in the smelly way. It stinks as in it's not very foggy. All right, well, we'll use this as a gauge. It's been a minute 40 since I started, and let's see what this fog kind of looks like on low speed, how long it takes to get out of here. I really want this bathroom to get super, super foggy and thick. And then I'm hoping that even on uh, low speed, my fan is gonna clear it. I gotta get a new fogger. This thing is not doing enough fog for me. I want this thing to just absolutely destroy it. Although it's looking pretty foggy in here. I mean, it looks like San Francisco on a uh, foggy morning. Okay, so it's been three minutes. We've fogged it up pretty good. I'm gonna just set the camera down on the tripod mode here and see uh, what we can find happening over time. Okay, so that is the outlet right there. And let's set the timer up and just kind of watch and wait. Okay, y'all, it's been almost 20 minutes here. The fog has lifted pretty good, but it's not totally gone. I wanna rerun the test now, refog the room, and this time I'm gonna put my machine in boost mode as if I said, hey, I'm taking a shower. Let me kick that into high, and let's see if we can clear this quicker. Definitely it's clearing. I think after 20 minutes, we've got a pretty good gauge. But I think for this fog to be totally gone, we're talking probably 45 minutes, something like that. But remember, this is a house that's totally sealed and just has my ERV running, my energy recovery ventilator. So let's pause here for a second. Let me get the test set up. We're gonna rerun it. Okay, I think we are back to the same fog level. It's been a minute 30. Let me switch gears now and let's go to my Zender app. Okay, so you can see that I am still in regular mode now on the Zender, and my little button right here, if you can see it, I'm gonna try and show you the screen while I press the button, if that's at all possible. Check this out. Running these concurrent. Check that out, isn't that cool? When I press the button, the app automatically kicked into high. So now my unit is running on high, which I think is like 200 and, I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. 250, 300 CFM, something like that for the whole house on boost mode. And you'll notice on here, it's gonna boost for 30 minutes. And so now let's go back to the timer. I basically hit that boost mode at 2.30 or so. Let's give it 10 minutes and see what this fog looks like. 10 minutes from now on boost mode. And let's test that theory about, about how you're gonna smell a fart in my house a week later. <laughs> okay, so I wish there was a way I could prop that, but. Okay, y'all, it's been 10 minutes, but remember I hit the boost mode at like two minutes or so, so it's really been eight minutes. I'm actually gonna switch to time-lapse mode here. Let's keep an eye on the time. It's just uh, 9.56. This boost mode is gonna run for 30 minutes, and then it's gonna go back to low mode, the mode that I've got it set on in the whole house. So I'm curious, I'm gonna give this like two hours. And the light's on, I'm gonna leave it set up just like this. Let's see what the bathroom looks like over the next two hours on a time lapse. Okay, y'all, check the time here. It is a couple minutes after 12. It's been two hours and look at this. <laughs> Totally clear, there's not a hint of fog anywhere. Uh, in the end, I would tell you that this house has been the freshest, best air of any house I've ever lived in in my whole life. I absolutely love it. 
And the fact that this ERV that's in my attic and has tubes running to here for extract, supply in the bedroom running 24 seven on low, absolutely fabulous. I love this system. And I think in the end, will a fart smell a week later? No, maybe 15 minutes, but that's about it. You know what I was up watching this video? I realized I didn't make a good case for why a super tight house is better than a traditional leaky house. Now my house, when I'm super tight and I want fresh air, I bring it through one place in my house, right? I've got a nose at the top of my house, which brings in that fresh air and filters it and then distributes it. It's also a balance system. Meaning when I extracted that air out of my bathroom, I supplied fresh air to the bedrooms, I wasn't relying on, let's say, the wind outside to blow to bring fresh air in. And that's the problem, I think, with kind of standard construction and not putting a fresh air system in like I've got at my house. A standard house, yes, if you smell up the bathroom, you can use the exhaust fan, but what you don't have is that constant supply of balanced fresh air all night long. You're hoping the wind blows to bring that fresh air, otherwise it's not coming. And there's also, in most houses, only extraction air, not supply air, which means if you had all your bath fans going, your dryer running, you're putting your house under a fair amount of negative pressure. Air is gonna leak back in and leak through places you don't want it, around your grills and registers coming from your unconditioned attic, through your outlets on exterior walls, around your windows and door seals, all these nasty places that may bring with it condensation to deposit on your walls if you're air conditioning, uh, let alone being filtered through your building is not a place where we want to bring our air. We want to filter it through a nice filter like my ERV system has. Anyways, I just wanted to make that mention and make sure that you guys understood the difference and why I think this video is important because it shows that a really airtight house is a great way to build, but yes, we do need a fresh air system as well. Let's finish it out with me right here. Guys, thanks for joining me. I always like to test things. If you have any ideas for things that I could test with a fog machine, I have a better fogger on order. I've been trying to figure out how I could fog a house and see how a traditionally built house is leaking. So anyway, stay tuned for that, but I appreciate your support, guys. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.